Good morning. You join me on a very warm and sunny Friday morning. And today I have decided to play about with car stereos. The YouTube channel's not any good, but he's a nice guy. I'm sorry, Mr. Boaty. To make YouTube videos with... Oh. You had me at YouTube videos. Let's go, Boaty. Basically, I've decided that the onboard gramophone in Betty Blue here would be much better in Fanny Freestyle and vice versa, because... Uh, why? Well, because the one in Fanny um, is kind of all blue um, illumination and whatnot, which is obviously going to go better in a blue-themed car than um, in a black one. And this one is kind of all black and whatever, and this is just going to go much better in Fanny. Also, this one is a mechless um, unit. Um, optimized for use with Android uh, and I'm old school I like CDs uh, and I don't have an Android phone and I'm more likely to have a little bit of use of this car so that's another reason but it just makes sense all round um, but uh -huh. <sighs> it's seldom fun playing about with stereos now, as it happens, um, this one in Fanny came out very easily, it came out without trying. I didn't need to use any release keys or anything. So uh, this was the easier one. Um, it looks as if um, Betty Blue might be a bit more recalcitrant, but I'm presuming that these are a standard ISO fitment. And once I do get the other one out, Hopefully I can just swap them straight over. Um, I suppose I might need to swap the mounting cages, mightn't I? So, um, well, we'll see. A second cup of coffee is a definite requirement for fiddling with onboard gramophones. Now, it's a while since I've had this little uh, tray of tricks out of my um, cabinet of big boys, useful things. Let's see if we can put them to some good use. Okay, the keys which were in the car, presumably for this gramophone, are a bit flimsy and they're just bending. So let's see if I've got some better ones. Okay, I've had the official click. So, this should just come out, but it doesn't want to. Hooray, I've got the bugger. And no wonder I couldn't get a bloody radio on it. The, um, the aerial wasn't plugged in. Humph. Right, let's see if we can swap them over. And the job, as they say, is a good one. That looks loads better. Uh, much, much better. Let's see if it, uh, if it actually works. Should be a bonus. Oh, hello. Okay, and the second part of the equation is to see if we can get the other gramophone correctly plumbed into Betty Blue here. Okay, now for the moment of truth. I should add that, oops, this CD was in the car. And um, I'll tell you what, it has got banging tunes on it. Oh, we have noise. You doing 
being stand up. I was, it was devastating. <laughs> that's actually worse Awful. than a blank screen. I know. Going from watching you to a blank. Well, I think that's worked really well. They need a bit of furdling to uh, get them set up properly. Uh, it's all newfangled technology, of course. But, um, yeah, they're definitely a better match having been swapped around. I mean, this one, silver and blue, obviously, matches car. Uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, I'm pleased with that. Gosh, it's, um, it's going to be a late lunch today. That's what happens when you enjoy yourself too much playing with your big boys' toys. Well, I thought I'd finish off today's video with uh, a bit of a walk around of the fleet and uh, a little update, let you know what's going on with all of them. I am absolutely full to the brim of Momo. Podged, utterly podged. Okay, well, you're pretty much up to speed on Betty Blue. She's still waiting the beginning of her cleanup, probably happen tomorrow, but I think that is a job bloody well done with the, with the stereo swap. Um, that looks, they both look so much better having been swapped. They look so much better in their respective new settings. I can't wait to do that wheel. Well, can't wait to do all the wheels, but uh, oh, what a difference we can make to that. Noisy boy. The mighty Derek is still doing splendid work duties. Honestly, the economy this car offers is just insane uh now derek of course is in theory for sale so um do feel free to give me a shout and put a bid in if you fancy him i think you're pretty much up to speed on fanny here of course can you see through the window that stereo looks so much better uh, so the plan with Fanny, well, the plan is to get her up to the Yard of Dreams, Captain Mustard, on Monday. He will do a full day of paint correction and general beautifying. Noisy. And, of course, Fanny is for sale. If you want a fully sorted, recommissioned and unique MGF, this probably should be one that you really ought to consider. Whoever gets this is going to get an absolute little cracker. And then we kind of come to the chill out bar section. Miss Boo here, my beautiful facelift Freelander 1 HSA TD4, just been chilling out. You'll remember that we fitted, oh my God. Look at the state of that. Bloody hell. Well, we've got a whole family of uh, spiders living there by the look of it. You'll remember that we fitted the um, wind deflectors, which were so very kindly sent by the lovely Joe Cox. And I fitted these rather silly little mirror rain deflectors that I just thought were kind of cool. And that one is actually stuck on. That's a bonus. This one, not so much. I'm going to need to redo that. And Miss Boo desperately needs a shower. Oh, you dirty girl. The Honourable Shison is also just chilling out. Um, no issues that I'm aware of. Turned the wheels over last week. Um, not a great deal more to say about, uh, about little Shison, except that they really do need a wash. Oh, did I show you this? The state of that. Dear Lord, I need a washy day. Horse. Non-horse. And wet leg von titty biscuits. Still, oh, such a favorite. And again, no issues, uh, turn the wheels over today. I absolutely adore driving this car and Wetty is going to be my vehicle of choice to go to Slandidno. Probably not 
next week now it's probably going to be the the week after And who does that leave? Well, the Honourable Stigbert is down at the garage. The replacement parts have been delivered from um, Tom at Force Tuning. So it's just, uh, just a question now of waiting until the chaps get a chance to fit them, which I imagine will be at some point next week. And then Mustard and I have got a cunning plan to sort the seat out. And the other member of the family who's um, who's away at the moment is of course Brian Johnston and Brian is at the Yard of Dreams still waiting for his MOT I need to order a, an exhaust back box Mustard is going to sort the boil, the boil joint? Ball joint tricky chaps words and um, a dab of weld on the, um, on the front section of the exhaust and he should be good for an MOT and then he can come home so that's about it for today, which is Friday for reference. And it's going to be a beautiful weekend weather-wise, I believe. So have a great weekend and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Boats would like to express his heartfelt appreciation to his amazing channel members. Alain Cyrle, Project MGTF, Rosette Chix, Chef Daniel, The Greenwood, Typhoon Cat, Richard Mahon, Dinosaur Dad, GPS OMG, Car Crazy Norwegian, Tricia Alderman, Black Lines, Classic Wheels Wells, Sha Brown, Jimmy Quinn, Joe Cox, Project Nigel, Joe Harwood, Underscore, Every Sincar, Mr. George Roger Botti, Saint QLG, Bad Books, Benny The Worst, Nigel Fleck, Air Dumpy Dum, Rob Brooks, Wet Legs Rerend, Houkton Classics, Holly Halls, John Moruzzi, Who Judge, General Cheeseburger, Pingu Concorde, Psychonaut 7, Kevin U, Mickey Jeffries and Neil Gibbon. Your support means the world to him, you all fucking legends and they thanks you from the heart of his bottom. Thanks also to everyone who supported the channel in other ways with Super Sha, Super Thanks or just by watching the videos and leaving your knob alone when the adver come on. See you on the next video. Oh, and I'm not wearing any panties.